this video we are going to study the classification of class reptilia channel characters <coughs> we already studied in the previous uh, video so let us continue with uh, the classification part so uh, we are going to study only the living orders in this video class so class reptilia is now compared to other groups of animals there is a slight difference here because class reptilia the criteria which is considered for classification is not morphological details because as I already mentioned in my previous class the reptilia is represented by many extinct species so there is a large number of reptiles who are already extinct so there is no way of knowing the morphological details but the fossil records there is there are a lot of fossil records regarding the reptiles so the classification uh, for classification they have used the anatomical character especially the uh, endoskeleton characters like skulls and other things so here we see the reptiles mainly divided into four groups based on the structure of skull so one character of skull which we are going to study in another video so anapsida without uh, the parietal opening here you can see this is the skull without a parietal opening so the animals with such skull they are all grouped under anapsida in the same way we have parapsida and synapsida which have one temporal opening and we find the diapsidans with two temporal openings on both the sides so they are all kept under diapsida so the classification is different from other groups in this way so the classification the main grouping is done on the structure of skulls okay here uh, you can see the temporal openings so no temporal openings one temporal opening here also one but the position is different and two openings so the first subclass uh, as I already mentioned we are going to study only the living orders here the first subclass is anapsida and it includes primitive reptiles with solid skull roof anapsida the temporal opening is absent and uh, one living order which we find under this is chilonia which is represented by turtles as far as characters are concerned the body is short broad and oval limbs are clawed are webbed so you can see uh, the body which is broad and oval which is adapted for swimming and limbs are clawed or webbed so webbed limbs are very helpful for swimming whereas the claws are used uh, to make a burrow in the sand at the time of laying the eggs body is encased in a dorsal firm shell so which is a very characteristic feature of the turtles and tortoises uh, and it's called carapace and ventral plastron and it's made up of dermal bony plates and its main use is for protection so it gives protection as you know the behavior of this most of the turtles and tortoises when they are in danger they withdraw their legs and heads into that bony structure which gives protection for them skull is anapsid with a single nasal opening and without a parietal foramen so that is the main character of this group quadrate is immovable the quadrate part of the skull is immovable sternum uh, so this is just to show you the structure of skull sternum is not found teeth are absent jaws with horny sheets and uh, you know here the jaw bones are modified into beaks because they are found living in the water 
and uh, they are adapted for catching fishes so the beak is more suitable to catch a fish so that's why this modification is found cloacal aperture is a longitudinal slit it's in the form of a longitudinal slit uh, which is of course a common character in most of the reptilian subclasses heart is incompletely four chambered so we already know this uh, that except crocodiles in all other types of reptiles the heart is incompletely four chambered or you can say three chambered so there are about 400 living species uh, present in this order and they are represented by chilo so this is the chilo and uh, you find the testudo so this is the testudo and rionix uh, it's actually a freshwater uh, turtle then dermochelis so you know this is leather back uh, this is a leather made up of leather it's not bony shell so that is the difference so these are some of the uh, representative examples for order chilonia which comes under subclass 1 anapsida on to the diapsida as i told you the other subclasses like synapsida parapsida are there but they include extinct orders extinct members so there are only two subclasses that is anapsida with one and uh, with one order and diapsida with two orders so only two subclasses represent the living reptilians so this is uh, subclass diapsida under this uh, as i told you the main character is skull with two temporal openings on either side separated by a bar of post orbital and squamosal bones so here you can see there are two temporal openings actually uh, you find two on other side also and uh, here they are separated by bar of post orbital so this is a post orbital bone and uh, this is a squamosal bone so these two separate these two bones separate the two temporal openings so that is the main character of the diapsidans and uh, the important order <clears throat> one of the important order is rhynchocephaly now this is a very special order because this order is represented by a single living species which is found in new zealand called tatara or spenodon punctatum now remember uh, that is the speciality of this order rhynchocephalia the body is small elongated and lizard like limbs are pentadactyl clawed and burrowing skin is covered by granular scales so the skin is actually uh, covered by granular scales and mid dorsal row of spines i think you can see here the row of spines which is found on the mid dorsal side of the body uh, which is mainly there for the protection skull is diapsid okay nasal openings are separate quadrate is fixed the quadrate bone is fixed in this also so vertebrae are amphicelous or biconcave uh, so the vertebrae is biconcave of uh, in nature abdominal ribs are also present heart is incompletely four chambered and copulatory organ is absent in this particular species and example as i already mentioned it is represented by a single living species found in new zealand the next order which comes under diapsida is squamata probably this is the biggest order representing the living reptiles it actually includes two important subgroups one group representing lizards and uh, another group representing snakes body small elongated limbs are clawed absent in snakes and few lizards as i already told you you find the limbs in lizards and they are absent in snakes but there are some lizards in which limbs are absent uh, i mean the lizard which is adapted for burrowing mode of life they have lost exoskeleton is horny and uh, epidermal scales shields and spines represent the exoskeleton here in these pictures you can see these are the scales 
as you normally find on the snake and shields so here you can see the shields found on the snakes and other uh, lizards and the spines so these are the sharp needle like structures called spines which are there mainly for the protection skull is diapsid and quadrate is movable now this is a very very important character found in snakes for example this is the quadrate bone and you know the habit of snakes or one important character of snakes that snakes can actually swallow the food the animal or anything which is larger than its mouth now only snakes can do that we cannot swallow something which is larger than our mouth but snakes can do here it is just a picture to show you but you know there are some snakes which will swallow bigger animals like some pythons swallowing a big deer i think you have seen the pictures so this is possible because of this movable quadrate so the upper jaw and the lower jaw separate when it is swallowing the food so the food will enter and they will come back so this is one very interesting adaptation or important adaptation because they do not have a mechanism of chewing or cutting the food before they eat they simply swallow the food and this probably is very helpful and vertebrae are prosigillus uh, concave in front and convex behind like this here you can see this is a vertebrae a prosigillus type of vertebrae concave in front and convex behind heart is incompletely four chambered cloacal aperture is a transverse slit male is having double copulatory organ so copulatory organs are found in double in this particular group uh, squamata and there are about 6800 species of lizards and snakes found and they are divided into two distinct suborder i already told you lacertilia suborder lacertilia which represents all kinds of lizards and subclass aphidia which includes all the snakes of the world the next order is crocodilia the name itself i think uh, is going to tell the examples under this group it includes crocodiles the animals which are commonly known as crocodiles body of a crocodile is larger in size you know crocodiles represent one of the largest living reptiles they are all carnivorous and of course they are aquatic uh, they live in the water or at least they live near the water tail is long strong and laterally compressed so you can see the tail of the crocodile which is laterally compressed and it is very strong and another added feature is the sharp razor like spines you find here you remember whenever the crocodile is in danger it will try to hit with its strong tail and Uh, it is capable of actually chopping the legs so that is the ability of the tail which is very strong and it mainly uses it for protection when it is on the land or when it is attacked and when it is inside the water it is used for swimming so you can say tail is a multifunction organ multifunction part of the crocodile part which is very helpful for protection as well as swimming limbs are short but powerful clawed and webbed skin is thick with scales or bony plates so you can see the skin uh, which is thick with scales or bony plates and the claw here you can see the claws and the web 
which is very helpful in the swimming. So crocodile skin, because of its uh, thickness and uh, other characters, I think uh, that is one of the character which makes it vulnerable for flesh trade. I, I mean uh, the skin trade. You know, uh, there is there are so many people which will who will uh, wish to buy the bags, the purses, and coats which are made from crocodile skin. Anyway, that's a different story. Let us move on to the next character. Skull is diapsid. Quadrate is immovable. Abdominal ribs are present. Teeth are thicodont and they are lodged in sockets. Heart is completely four chambered. So we already know this is one of the uh, different character from other reptiles. Local aperture is a longitudinal slit. And male is having a copulatory organ called penis. And uh, examples include crocodiles, gharials, and alligators. Actually, you can see in this picture, commonly we call all of them as crocodiles. But uh, they have some differences. For example, this is alligator, this is a crocodile, and this is a gharial. So they show some differences and uh, they have some different behaviors but they are commonly known as crocodiles and uh, that completes the study of classification i think it's clear and it's very simple so hope you understood it and in our next video we will be continuing with the arcades and fossae, uh, which is a very small topic. And uh, okay, so that's it. We'll meet with the next video of arcades and fossae. Thank you.